and welcome to Lindita's Kitchen. I am Lindita and today I'm going to be fixing up some sopa de tortilla con pollo. A little translation, it's tortilla soup with chicken. And it's one of our favorites, my husband, Michael, Mr. Lindita. Mm -hmm. He loves this and I'm going to share this with you. And these are some of the ingredients that we're going to be chopping up and then we're going to take it over and we're going to put it all together. So what you're going to need is one onion and I use a yellow onion. I love the yellow onion because it's a lot, you know, sweeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you don't really have to um, not fine dice, right? It just, you can just chop it up. It's gonna cook up really well. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it. Oh, maybe that fell apart right there, but it's okay. Hmm. So now I'm gonna just dice it up a little bit more. Put this over here on the side. Then as you know, like I've said before, hey, mm -hmm. I love onions. And this recipe is so hearty. It's so, it's gonna be so delicious. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna move this aside. Oh, man. Just chop it up. And of course, you know, your jalapeño. Jalapeños, you know, as you know, and you've watched my shows, I love jalapeños. And you know, if you don't like it too spicy, you take out the seeds, okay? So we're gonna move the little head down the middle. And you can remove the seeds. I'm gonna just grab a little spoon here and just take them out. I leave a couple in there. Just because you want it to get, a, yeah, if you want that little spots in there. We're gonna be adding a little bit more later too. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ay, ay, ay. Mm-hmm. Put it together. And we're gonna be adding some more jalapenos to this later. Mm-hmm. So these are gonna go in at the same time when we cook. So I'm gonna grab, a, it's about a quarter of a cup, so I'm gonna just eyeball it here, and I'm gonna go just to there, and use all the stems. Everything goes together, okay? And we're not gonna put it in the bowl because we're gonna put it in a little afterwards, okay? We don't want that, we want to, once the soup starts cooking up, then we'll add it. Toss these in there. I'm gonna put this on the side here. Oh, cilantro. Oh, it smells so refreshing, doesn't it? Mmm, you can smell it. I'm telling you, my mom in her garden, she used to just go out in her garden and she would pick, pick the, um, the cilantro and just eat it just like that. And I'd be like, Mom, how can you do that? I, I couldn't believe it <laughs> that she could do that. Well, guess what? After her passing, and this is no lie, I'm telling you, I, I have a craving for cilantro now. I can eat it just like that too. Isn't that crazy? I know. So we're gonna take three cloves, okay? And they're kind of large. And if you have a mince, a mincer, you can throw those in there and you're gonna have to chop them down a little bit. But I'm gonna use my mom's molcajete because I love it. And molcajetes, if you have one, oh my gosh. Like I said, you can, brings back memories of mi casita con mi mami, with my mom, my sisters, my brothers. Why well, everybody love to cook in my family. So, mi abuela, well, she was the best, let me tell ya. Who taught my mom and taught, she taught us. So I'm just mashing it down a little bit so you can kind of see what I've done there. Okay, and we love garlic. So good for you too. Add a little water, and the reason I'm adding it just to loosen up the sides. You know, you don't need that much because it's all going to go together. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think we've got it. So what I'm going to do is take this all over there, and we're going to put it all together. Let's do it. I've got my heat on a medium, kind of like a medium low. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of 
olive oil. I'm eyeballing it. Yep, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and toss in our onion and our jalapeno that we cut up, just chopped. Oops, that was a little end there. We don't want that in there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of uh, eyeball it and let, let it stir up a little bit and let it cook for about two to three minutes. Okay, so this has been cooking for about two and a half, three minutes. Mm. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our broth. Okay, so we have got four cups. This is so easy because it's got your four cups right in there. Uh-huh, that's how it's measured out. We're gonna add it slowly. Nice. So now we can start adding in our tomatoes. And I'm using, this is a crushed tomato. It is about four and a half ounces of the canned crushed tomato. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna add, we're gonna go ahead and add our corn. Again, it's about a 14, 14 and a half ounce corn drained. You want to drain it and just add to it. And of course I've got my um, <laughs> my garlic cloves that we um, added. I'm going to just use my spoon here to dump this. But I have a little water in there. You don't have it doesn't make any difference. If you mince it, you can just toss it right in. But I have water. It's not going to make any difference. It's just good for the flavor. And then we're going to go ahead and add our, I use the fire roasted, fire roasted tomato and it's the diced. And I like mine a little bit on the softer side, so I'm going to use my hands for this and I'm just going to squeeze it. And they're fire roasted, you can pick them up anywhere. And it's got a nice little flavor to it and it makes it really unique, you know, to this recipe. You have to watch it because it does squirt all over the place. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and dump it right in. Perfect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just wash my hands here. Get that tomato juice off. Okay, now we add our spices. So our spices are, we're gonna use a teaspoon of all these spices, okay? So I've got the, the, the chili, and it is the ground light chili. One teaspoon of the Mexican oregano. And if you don't have Mexican oregano, you can just use the oregano, but you can find it now in the, on the shelf. And then one teaspoon of the cumin, ground cumin. Voila. And then, of course, the secret sauce, spice, is one teaspoon of Lindita's ground. And I'm using this, and I ground it up. So I use one teaspoon, and this is gonna make it all pop. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a stir. Yeah. All those flavors are just wonderful. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add one, it's one lime, okay, the juice of the, the lime. So we're gonna squeeze it right in there. I did roll it, so it was all nice. You roll it like that, right? <laughs> and then you cut it open, and then all the juices come out. Okay, so we just squeeze it right in. We're gonna be adding a little bit more too, okay? So it's gonna cook into it. Okay. So now that we're getting everything together, we're gonna give it another little spin. Ooh. We're gonna go ahead and add our chicken. It's tortilla soup, right? But it does have chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. So I'm gonna, it's, it's about, it's a large breast, okay? So I've already cleaned it up, took most of the fatty um, skin off, 
And I'm gonna just cut it in three parts because I want it to kind of cook in, in the soup here. And it's gonna shred better when you do that. So we're gonna go ahead and place it in there. Open them up a little bit like that. Okay, now we're gonna bring this to a boil. We're gonna bring it to a boil. And I'll give it another little stir. And once it starts boiling, we're ready for the next step. So this has been boiling for about five minutes. I let it go a little bit longer. And you can do that too, you know, so it, it's, it's not gonna hurt it, you know. So what we're gonna do, since it's been boiling, now we're gonna reduce it down to a simmer. All the way down to a nice simmer and just leave the lid off. And we're gonna let it cook for about 25 minutes. Okay, so our next step on this, I'm gonna go ahead and just add my cilantro. And a little salt and pepper. You can add a little bit more salt if you want later. We're gonna mix it, give it a little spin there. Now let it go. Now we're gonna get ready for our tortilla strips, our corn tortilla. And I've got about six here. So what you want is about a quarter cup of the vegetable oil. And I just turned it up. I'm gonna just turn it up a little bit more. Get it nice and warm. And meanwhile, while it's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and start just doing the little strips. Tortilla. Oh yeah. Okay, so they're nice and stripped, so we're gonna toss them in the oil. This is how I test it. It's funny, but everybody has their own way of testing the oil. How hot is it? Okay, when you hear that little pish, I think it's ready. All right, we're gonna go ahead and toss them in. Whoops. I'm gonna use my spatula on this one. Break them up a little bit. It's about two to three minutes. You know, it depends on how crunchy you want them. And I like mine a little on the toasty side. It's been a couple of minutes. And again, you can judge it on your own range because if you have electric, it could be a lot longer. It could be a little longer or not. So I'm just gonna, yeah, just try to flip them as best as you can. And then you just toss them around. Ooh, they're getting nice and toasty, I can see. Now you just play because now it's hot, the heat. Uh-huh, they're nice and toasty and they're gonna get real crunchy. So this is a good time to pull them out and I'm gonna throw in another batch. Whoops. Oh yeah. Ooh, this is a good time. They'll drain the fat and then you just add salt. Oh my God. And we'll set them aside. Mmm, ooh, look at this, beautiful. So it's, this has now been simmering for about 25, 30 minutes. You can go a little longer if you want, it's totally up to you, but that's what I would do. And then I would go ahead, I'm gonna just use my little clippers here because I'm gonna remove the chicken from here because I want it to chill, okay? We want it to chill and then remove some of the, the corn there. And we're gonna let it rest till it cools down a little bit. Remember I cut it in three? Perfect. Okay, let's set those aside. And we're gonna continue. I'm gonna just see, I'm gonna just go as low as I can. 
and let it sit because we're gonna shred those up in a little bit. So meanwhile, that's kind of simmering. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna make some quesadillas. Everybody knows how to do a quesadilla, right? So what I did is I put two slices down and broke them and just I even it out a little bit. And you know, there is an inside and an outside, right? So you wanna make sure that you have the inside going in. Okay, we're gonna toss it on our skillet here. Perfect. And my son just asked me to, you know, how do you know? <laughs> Why, what's the difference? You know, how, there is. It's an inside and outside, like a, like a tamal too. A tamal has a rough side and it's got a smooth side. So you want the smooth side when you do this. Okay, when you put your, your, your masa on there. So it's the same thing. And we're gonna let that cook, cook up a little bit and then we'll come back and flip it, okay? Okay, let's check on these babies. Yep, they're ready to, to flip. Okay, let's just toss, oh, la, mira. Mm-hmm, perfect. Let them go for a little bit. We'll throw in another batch. So now my chicken breasts are nice and cool. And if they're a little warm for you, you can go ahead and use you know, two forks and just shred them if they're nice and real warm. But I let mine kind of cool down a little bit. So it's easier for me to use. I like using my hands and I like to just shred, shred them. So you just take it and just pull it apart. And I kind of did them for like bite size. You know, you can make them nice and long, but it's hard to slurp. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Yes. I know, I say that all the time, but yeah, you know, I've done it. So the, the meat is nice and cooked. Now we're just shredding it. Like I said, this recipe is one of my favorites and you know, it's, it's such a comfort food too. It really is. And you know, it just makes you feel all good inside. Yep. And if you like it a little chunkier, go for it. And I'm just going to town here. a little on the, woo, wants to dance. <laughs> Just like me, <laughs> my little platter. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uno mas. And this was about, I would say about um, 12 to 13 ounces of, of the breast. And if you want, you know, um, to get it a little thicker, you add more meat to it as well. You just have to justify the time when you're cooking it, you know. And I like mine not too thin, just enough, you know, to get a nice little bite size in your mouth. Okay, so now it's nice and shredded. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this back in and we're gonna let it cook for another, you know, simmer for another five minutes, right? Okay, so I'm gonna just toss that in there. And give it a little, uh, a little swirl. Uh huh. Oh, the aromas are incredible. Just wait till you have this. Okay, we we'll let it cook up a little bit more. Like I said, about five minutes, and it's on a low simmer. Okay, here. And then I've got some quesadillas. Remember, we uh, cook some up. They're ready to rock. Yeah, ooh, a little cilantro got in there. Okay, move this over. And now it's ready to get all set up, okay? So I'll put these aside and give me a minute and we'll get it all together for you. Ay, sopa de tortilla con pollo. Like I said, Tortilla soup with chicken is never gonna be the same until you try this. This is absolutely the most tasty tortilla soup that I have for you. And it's just gonna warm your soul and just celebrate your spirit. So with that, I'm just saying, you saw how easy this was to make. And it's, it's just so refreshing and tasty. And I'm gonna to top it off for you because you need to know all the little sides that I have here and what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and add some shredded cheese. 
you know, your Mexican flavored cheese. Perfect, así. And you can add a little avocado. I cube it up. I cubed it up. But you can just do slices as well. Oh, how pretty is that? And then we're gonna do some jalapenos. Gotta have some jalapenos in there. And I didn't take the seeds, but again, you know, if you don't want it hot, just take the seeds out, okay? And we're gonna top it off too with our tortilla chips, just like this. I'm gonna crunch them up a little bit and just toss them on there like that. And you know, you can serve this also with some uh, quesadillas, like I said, on the side. You don't have to have them because we have everything right here. We're gonna just plop a little bit of sour cream. Uh-huh. I know, it's so tasty. My mouth is watering. I can't wait. Oh my God, and of course, you're gonna top it off with a little bit of lime, lime juice. Uh-huh. I see. And for a little bit more flavor, you gotta add some more linditas. And you can go with a mild or hot. Just go ahead and just grind a little bit more on there. And then, I like it. Perfect. And mis amigos, I hope you're enjoying all the shows that we've been putting out for you. And this is, like I said, one of our favorites. And for all our recipes, you can go to linditasalsa.com. You can go to, um, our, of course, Aurora TV, it's always brought to you by. And you know, on the internet, YouTube, and all the wonderful social media that we have out there. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. On my website, there's a little section in there. And for those that have been writing in, thank you. And I appreciate all your beautiful little notes and how much you appreciate and, and our salsas, you know? So again, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. And we're gonna salute con una cerveza. A nice cold beer goes just great. Until next time, my friends, salute.